Hey y'all. So, um, I'm about to do another meal today. Um, chicken. Me and Queen about to make chicken cordon bleu. Casserole. Chicken cordon bleu casserole, y'all. So I'm gonna um show y'all what we're using. Show y'all the recipes of what you need for the chicken cordon bleu. And um, so in a few, we're gonna show y'all, and then we'll be right back. So the first thing that you would have to do for this um, recipe is get your chicken breasts out, put it in the crock pot, um, let it cook. So as you can see, I don't let the breast cook, and I actually done shredded it up in the crock pot. But what I use to season um, our chicken. Um, you know, so I have a good, nice flavor to the casserole. So I put onion powder. Um, I put roasted garlic and herb seasoning. I also put the pink salt. And nevertheless, what Queen likes. <laughs> Sorry, I got the rub band on here, y'all, but it's because it holds the the um, lid down because. I almost poured the whole freaking pepper on something I was cooking <laughs> one time, but anyway, so minus the rub band, I put the um, black pepper, the cormac pepper on there, and definitely the pepper, because like I said in the last video, we made the shrimp tacos, Queen Lee really loves pepper, so I always make sure I put pepper on stuff. Alright, so those are the ingredients that we use for that. So like I said, here's the shredded chicken, and then I'll come back for the next step, you guys. All right, guys. So the next step, so all the uh, things you will need to make this recipe, like I said, after you have shredded up the chicken, so you have to put your um, you got to get black forest ham. You have to have um, well, you don't have to have this one. You have to have the Swiss cheese, but I wanted to add the shredded cheese, the sharp shredded, sh the sharp cheddar cheese with the Swiss cheese, and then you're also gonna need the sour cream and the butter to make the sauce guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually after so I have the meat shredded I'm gonna um, shred up the um, the ham a little bit and the ham is actually gonna go on top of the shredded chicken after we do that um, after we do that we're gonna actually make the sauce so it's gonna be the shredded chicken the shredded ham make the sauce to go on top and after the sauce goes after the sauce goes on top we're gonna put the um Swiss cheese and the sharp cheddar on there so I'll be back to let y'all know how that looks after that and then like I said if you have a dish this size you can use um what is it, like an eight by not an eight nine by ten by but a nine by thirteen dish all right be right back guys all right and it was one more thing I forgot to add guys you gotta put um it's it's really supposed to be Dijon um mustard and the lemon juice, but I'm not, we're not, Queen and I are not really big, big, huge fans of Dijon mustard, but hey, if y'all want Dijon mustard, use Dijon mustard, but we're going to use the French's yellow classic honey mustard with the lemon juice, alright, sorry, I forgot to add that, so I came back to add that, and now I'm about to cut up the, um, the ham, be right back, alright, so, as you can see, the ham is cut and sliced, and I just want to make a correction, i I think I made a mistake and said um, honey mustard, but I meant to say um, the yellow classic mustard. If I did make a mistake, if anybody was paying attention. But alright, so I got the ham chopped up. Um, and I'm going to. So I put the. Uh, I got the chopped chicken. Layered inside the pan, inside the glass dish. Now I'm going to layer the uh, ham. Because I know this one was next. And then we'll put the sauce. Mm -hmm. Alright. So just layer the ham on top, like so. And after I do this, I'm going to come right back and put the sauce in. I'll show y'all how that's going to look afterwards. Alright, be right back. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now guys, I will. I gotta mix it some more, but this is the um, cream cheese. We got the honey. I mean, I don't know why I keep wanting to say honey mustard. We got the cream cheese, mustard, um, lemon juice, and we've mixed it to put on top of the um, shredded chicken and ham. But we'll be right back because I gotta get all around the sides and mix it up again. So be right back. Okay, guys, so we've um, whipped all together the, um, like I said, the cream cheese, the melted butter, the lemon, and also the mustard. And so after you whip all that stuff together and get it whipped up, this is how you would spread it on top of the shredded chicken and the ham. And I know it looks kind of like, what the hell is that? But it's going to come out good. So anyway... That's that. Now I'm going to layer the um, the Swiss cheese on top and then just a little bit of added um, uh, sharp cheddar. Alright, so be right back. Alright, so this is how it looks with the Swiss cheese on top. And like I said, we did put a little bit of sharp cheddar on the bottom, which is not on the recipe. But um, yeah, the, we just added it. So now I'm about to take it and put it in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes so that's what I'm about to do now alright it's in the oven and there we have it and like I said this is what we use onion powder roasted garlic and herb salt the lemon to make the um, whip, the cream cheese, melt the cream cheese and the melted butter, and of course we added the pepper to it. And um, yeah, so I'll let you guys know how it tastes when we are done. Um, yeah, all right, so be right back. Hey y'all, yeah. so <laughs> Quinn and I here <laughs> and. This is what we have. Chicken cordon bleu casserole. Chicken cordon bleu casserole. Let y'all know how it tastes. You go first. We go at the same time. We go at the same time, yeah. I don't know. Does it look like chicken cordon bleu? It's steamy. Y'all see that smoke on there? Let's see, see y'all. See if it tastes like it. See if it tastes like it. it tastes like chicken cordon bleu. Ready? Yeah. Here so we go. Got some chicken, got some of everything. Here it is. Yeah, I got everything. All right. Ready? Bon appetit. Go. Bon appetit. I don't know what it tastes like. What it tastes like, you know? Hmm. Not quite chicken cut on bluish. It don't really... It don't really taste quite chicken cordon bleuish, y'all. But that's what the recipe said. But yeah, I you know. see, it's like I mean, some of the sauce on it, like the cream sauce and stuff. But it's still just, I mean, it's good. But it's good. It just doesn't taste like. It just don't give me the the real cordon bleu taste. But it's good. We're just tasting it. We're just tasting it. Good though, guys. It is good. It just feel like it should be called something else, but hey, like uh -oh. I don't know what to call it, but something else. Ain't it. What you think? It's good, but it's, it's not good though, y'all. I don't food. know. It's good. It's good though, but uh, it's almost like it needs more the chicken cord on blue sauce. Yeah, but. It needs more of the... So like you're like creamy? Yeah, it needs more of the creamy. sauce that we made for it. Like the, um, what was it? The melted butter, the cream, cream cheese, cheese, and... Lemon. Should we use lemon? Should we use the honey, Dijon? See if that make a difference? Maybe next time we will. Next time we use the honey. But I don't think that would make a difference, though. Not in the cream. But it's good, y'all. Maybe we just need to double up on the... Um, the sauce. The sauce part of it. But hey, 
Bon appetit, you guys. It's good as a main course. It's good. We're going to make some side dishes with it. Though. Yeah, we're going to make some side. You know, every time we eat a meal, we got to try to have some kind of um vegetable with it. Green vegetable or salad or such or something. So, but anyway, y'all, it turned out good. It looks good. It smells good. Mm -hmm. And it tastes good. So, hey, chicken cordon bleu it is, guys. Mm -hmm. And what we always leave you guys with, peace, love, and so. Peace out, you guys.